YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, she got DJ Bishop back again with another video. And this time I got a quick video on electric bikes. What do I know about electric bikes? I know absolutely nothing about electric bikes. I just figured I wanted one. It looked cool. So I've been kind of searching high and low for an electric bike. Um, I've been looking at a lot of the Alibaba sites and the local sites, and I've just been kind of going crazy with my obsession with electric bikes. So I finally pulled the trigger and decided to go locally with it. I've been, I was talking to the Alibaba Ali, Ali people on the phone for like, you know, every, every night for a month, you know, like, you know, two, three in the morning, I'm on the phone video conferencing with them about bikes. They all had the, the, the moped style bikes. Um, and they were selling those. Some of them had three batteries. Some of them had two batteries. Some of them had one battery. So I was going for, ideally, I was going to get the moped bike with two 1000 watt, um, wheels with the mag wheels. But of course it wasn't a big 26 inch fat tires. It was like, uh, 20 inch. I think they were 20 inch small fat tires, the small tires, but these are like really big tires. So 26 inch fat tires over here. So, um, um, so, uh, I decided to, uh, not go with, not go with the, uh, Chinese model. I mean, these all are Chinese bikes. So, but I decided to stay local because, you know, one of the things the guy was telling me is that if you don't buy local and you, you order one of those things online, nobody's going to fix it. And if you're not familiar with fixing these electric bikes, then I wouldn't advise you in getting, you know, one from overseas like that, because if something go wrong with it, then you're on your own with getting it to work. So I was like, yeah, I don't know how to put the bikes together. I mean, it's been, I ain't put a bike together since probably eighth grade, <laughs> my BMX mongoose bike I put together. So yeah, I ain't put a bike together in that long. So I doubt if I know how to put these things together. So I said, I'm gonna go locally. I'm gonna go test drive one out. And then I'll pick it and go from there, you know, and it'll be all put together. I ain't got to mess with it. So I went with a local shop um, up here in the Omaha, Nebraska, Cycle. It's called Cycle something Cycle. And they, they go with the mock. They, they sell the mock wheel bikes. Okay. So this is a technically a, a mountain bike. It has a, all the functions of a mountain bike, which I like. So you can ride it like a regular bike. Pedal it. You can ride it. It's a little heavy because this bike is 80 pounds, like 79 something. Some of this is rounded up to 80. This is an 80 pound bike. Okay. Um, I'm 5'10, 5'11, probably 248 pounds. So it holds me very well. I have no problem with riding this bike. I don't feel like I'm too big for it. I actually feel perfectly like this is for me, my size. Okay. So I don't feel. Like I'm overweight and, you know, not you, this bike can hold 400 pounds. So, you know, I got more than enough pounds to put on this bike and, and feel good about it. Okay. So let me run over some of the specs real quick. So it comes with a Samsung, uh, 48 V 19.6, uh, AH battery. You got a 48 volt 3.0 charger. You get up to, uh, 28 miles power on this thing. Um, level five. A level five uh, 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 pedal assistant, pedal assist, and it's weighs seventy seven pounds. So there you go, seventy seven pound is the actual weight. You can get sixty eighty miles range, and that's kind of depends on how much pedal assist you do. It has a forty eight volt, one thousand watt brushless rear motor hub, and the payload is for uh, four thousand pounds. Now this is a uh, a fully, uh, what do you call that thing? Full suspension, right? Hold on, let me see here. So it has a, uh, you can, this, it, it's, it's suited to, yeah, I'm going to show you this stuff right here. So it comes suit, uh, most adults, 5'6 six to 6'8. Six, so frame, that's all that. You can look at all that stuff right there. What's this cookie stain? Uh, hate when people call me. So you can look at all that. So there's some specs for you. Okay. Um, performance wise. I'm going to let you look at this text. You know, instead of me blabbering about it, I'll let you read it yourself. So I 26 amp puncher resistant tire, LED integrated headlight. That's the uh, brakes, tech, troll, 
HD hydraulic disc brakes. Chain is a Cam C stainless chain. Crankcast is a uh, that right there, that right there. So I mean, you can read all this stuff. I'm not gonna read it for you, but I'll go down here and show you what it is. So there you go. So that's all the specs. Let me see if there's any other thing in here I can show you. So that's the thing I was reading off the first time. So I'll show you all that. Okay. So here's the bike. So let me explain the bike to you. So here's a suspension wise. So you got a suspension here, adjustable suspension. I don't know much about that. I just got to play around with it and, and mess around with it. Um, the hydraulic brakes. Let's go over here. Show you the hydraulic brakes. There's the hydraulic brakes there. You can see that. And then the wheels is supposed to be puncture proof type wheels where, you know, it's not puncture resistance. It's not 100%. But it's these wheels here. Chain Yang, Ch Chao Yang, three hippo skin. So that's what you get on most of these bikes that's so called puncture, puncture resistant. Um, you get the keys. For the battery, the battery, what I do like is compared to the other bikes, this bike look cool. That's one of the things. It has a cool, I mean, I'm going to give it a five fat fingers of five of coolness because this thing is cool. I mean, it's bright yellow. The battery is tucked away under here. It's built into the frame, which I like. It's not just sitting here or sitting up here like, the you know, most of the Chinese bikes you order from uh, Alibaba. You know, they just kind of all look the same and then they got the battery just kind of stuck up on top or the battery is stuck right there. So this one at least contains the battery in the frame. So it looks uniform, looks really nice. And then the cords, it's kind of, you know, tucks away into the side of the frame as well. Um, I do like that a lot. Now this suspension here, I don't know much about that, but I'll let y'all look at it. And you can, you know, y'all bikers know about this stuff. That's the suspension right here. And they got all these little knobs and buttons and stuff like that. I don't know nothing about that. This has a class two and it goes 20 miles per hour, but you can unlock it to go 28. Um, and it has all these little suspension points that points as well. So that all that stuff kind of moves as you ride, you know, you get all that suspension there as you're riding and there's a chain and we can go back here to the hub. I don't, I think this is a bang, a bang, bang, whatever. You know, that kind of hub. Let me see. Let me turn this thing and see if we can find the name of this hub. They don't say it. So it doesn't have the broadcast in it. Oh, there you go. So this is mock wheels on uh, on type of deal. But that's it right there. I think it's the bang, the bang um, hub that's in here. I, I would assume. So this is plastic. This thing is plastic. Um, I do. I don't like that it don't have a. Um, there's a couple things I don't like. I don't like that it doesn't have the uh, the uh, blinkers right there. You know, left, right blinkers and tail light. Um, and then I saw another bike that Mach, Mach Wheel makes, and it has the uh, LED lights in in the frame. So when you step on the brake, it lights up really bright. I wish this had that for the price point. This bike comes at twenty three hundred dollars. So this is a pretty expensive bike. Um, so I wish it would have had that, but it doesn't. Um, and now here's the tail light here, and it's just kind of a, it just kind of comes on. You just press it, and it do you know four different things. It can just do that, and it does this. I guess just to get people's attention, you know. And it's just solid. Okay, so you got to turn that on when you're riding that I don't like I wish it was a, a a button up there to turn that on and you had your blinkers and stuff like that so um that's one thing I don't like second thing I don't like this cheesy little thing here it looks kind of corny but it probably helps out if you're riding it in the rain so the rain water don't splash up on your back so I guess that's kind of a purpose so I guess that's needed um second third thing I don't like is um this headlight this headlight is a little cheesy you know, I've seen most most bikes have that big, big round headlight on it. This one got like this two little LED things in the front. I don't think that's really that bright. I have had tested at night. So I got to take this thing on a ride at night. Now, I did ride this thing. It's really fast. It's fast. For with my weight and I put it, you know, you can put it on pedal assist one. It kicks right in. You go pedal assist two faster, pedal assist three faster, pedal assist four 
five and you're rocking and rolling. I mean, I, I pushed it up to like 32 and I was on a flat way when I was pedaling with full, full throttle going. So got, and that's fast. And I didn't get the wobble, the wobble of death where, you know, the steering wheel is wobbling like crazy. I was smooth. It felt really comfortable. This thing takes heels. Um, I kind of went off roading and went through a park, uh, night going downhill, uphill, grassy, you know, rough terrain type park. I didn't feel any bumps. I felt now I will be changing this seat. I do have a better seat. The seat, even though this seat is nice, this is the seat that comes with it. The mock wheel seat is really nice. Um, it's not one that hurts my butt, but I'm probably going to change to a better cushiony one, like really, really cushiony one. So I already got one of those seats for a different bike I had, a regular bike. So I'm going to throw it on here and uh, use that for this one. So um, uh, things I like about this bike, okay? Um, and then another thing I don't like is really heavy. This is a heavy bike. So, you know, if you're a little small person, you're not going to be able to, to handle this bike. And it's kind of a tall bike, too. So you kind of got to you got to jump on top of this bike. You know, I'm a tall guy and I have to put my leg over and just kind of hop up on a pedal to get it. Cause it's a, it's a tall bike. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a tall bike. So if you're a short person, it's going to be very hard for you to ride this bike without falling off or, you know, kind of messing it up. So let me turn the power on. So a couple things I found out about this bike that I do like is, um, let me turn it on here. So you turn it on. Let me turn this, uh, light off. You greet it to like a little hello screen and you got your, basic um, LCD screen it's color so you can go through here so not so this thing has cruise control I thought that was pretty awesome you know that's pretty awesome so what did you do you you get up to whatever you speed you want you hold the down button and then it, it goes into cruise control mode then there's another thing where it has like walk assist so let's say you walk in this up a hill and you don't want to ride it you can you can hold the button and it goes into this walk assisted mode you see the bike the bike <laughs> the bike start moving by itself so you just hold this button and it'll give you you know a little bit of uh gears to walk the bike so you're not kind of pulling in this 70 77 pound bike you know you can get assistance from the uh motor okay uh the throttle is here so it doesn't have a Twitch throttle has a thumb throttle, which is good, so you don't wear your hands out. Now this one has a uh, leather, a leather uh, grip with some brand in there. It got the uh, the brakes there with the mineral oil, I guess, in there. I don't really know what that's for, but that's in there. Then you got the headlight. Let's turn the headlight on, like I was telling you. So that's the headlight. You know, it's kind of okay, I guess. I don't know. So it's pretty bright, but I, I won't know about that headlight till I test it when I go outside and test it and see what that headlight can actually do. But it has a button for the headlight. And then this is your uh, buttons here. You go up, down, you know, you can take your uh, power assistant thing up and down. Then you got the trip computer. Um, then you got the time. Then you got another couple of settings up in here where you can go through and look at different features in there. Um, over here, you got your throttle. Uh, you know, your to flip the flip through the gears and stuff here and then you got another little button up here to go down in the gear so um that's pretty much it and then, like i said you got the keys for the uh take the battery on and off now when you buy this bike you do get a bunch of stuff with it so they give you i don't know they said 680 dollars worth of stuff okay so let me turn this off go back over here and power this bike off and the reason i got it in my house is because it's it's kind of a crappy day. I live in Nebraska, so we're going into snow. We're supposed to get snow this weekend. I hope we don't, but it's all gloomy and it's rainy outside. And even though this bike is water resistant, it's not waterproof. So I asked the guy at the store, I was like, can you ride this in the rain? He said, you can ride it in the rain. It's water resistant like a phone, but you don't want to submerge it in water. You don't want to get being water deep enough that goes high above the motor and the motor is fully submerged in water. That's going to destroy the bike. Pouring down rain might destroy the bike. So I would, for me, I'm not riding my bike in rain at all. So if I get, if it's rainy, wet outside, I'm not riding a bike. If it's raining, I'm not riding a bike. If I get caught in the rain, I have no choice but to ride it home. But 
I'm going to try not to ride on days where it's gloomy and it's going to rain. So like today, I don't want to have it outside. So I took it and brought it in the house because I, ha I don't have any room in my garage. I got to rearrange my garage and put this in there. But um, and then I don't think I want to put it in my shed because they said I don't think this bike can get cold. I mean, I think it can. You can just I just got to take the battery off and then I can put it in my shed for the wintertime or whatever. Put it up. So I'll figure all that out later. I um, haven't really quite figured all that out. But I will figure all that out later. Okay. So that's, uh, oh, you got a kickstand over here. Kickstand over here. And then I don't know if you want to see the rear disc brakes over here. We can look at, let you look at that too. That's the rear disc brakes over there. Let me turn the light back on. There's some more stuff there. The pedal is your standard pedal. I think this pedal is plastic. Um, it's a good pedal. Yes, plastic. This is a plastic pedal with some type of uh, pegs on there. So, I don't know if people like plastic pedals or metal pedals. I don't know. Um, it's fine. So, I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, I rode this thing. I rode it. I rode it pretty good, too. I rode it hard. I rode it for a distance. I rode it uh, fast. I rode it up hills. I rode it kind of everywhere. So, um, it worked out for me. I thought it was fine. You know, maybe you can, I, I could go a little faster, you know, maybe I wanted to go faster, but there again, do you really need to go that fast? I don't know. You know, so here's the box I got. So you get a box full of stuff. Okay. What's in this box? I don't know. Let's put it on the table and see here. This is all the free stuff. So they owe me a trailer. So you get a bunch of stuff in a trailer and this thing has an inverter too. So um, what the inverter does is it's like a $300 inverter box. It's a thousand watts and you hook it up to the, to the battery and then you can use the inverter to, you know, charge a phone or uh, turn on like a, a electrical device, like a plug or outlet or TV, video game, whatever it can, it can run like whatever electrical, you know, cause it has a regular plug outlet and it has a USB C USB A has all the little different things on there to plug stuff up. Now, only thing I don't like about that inverter is it should have been a thousand watt battery. So you don't have to use your, your bike battery to power other stuff up. You know, like, why do I want to power other stuff? Now I'm taking all the juice off my battery. That's kind of dumb. I think, I think that's dumb, but I could be wrong. You guys let me know in the comments how you feel about that. But the inverter is, I guess if you want to use it and in, in, in you need to charge something or run a power device or something or you, you need to power something up, you can hook that battery up to that, that inverter to your uh, bike battery and it's a little port for it. Plug it right up and then you can plug anything up to it, to that inverter and then it'll power it up as long as you got power supply on your battery. Um, and then another thing this thing comes with is solar panels. You can order these solar panels that connects to that inverter as well. Now, when you collect the solar panels, let's say you're on a long trek out in the woods somewhere and you run out of juice, you just sit down and set a campfire or whatever, and then you put your, pull your solar panels out, lay them out in the, in the grass and get in the sun, and you plug that up to the inverter and it plugs up to the battery, and that inverter charges the battery, your bike battery, so you can get power from the sun. So that's kind of a cool device. I do like that, but since I don't go out in the woods or nothing like that, you know, I doubt if I'll really need something like that because i'm not a that much of a biker so here you get gift card i don't know what this is so that's gift card from some stuff and then you get like some straps and a bunch of tools and whatever you know some tools to repair the bike or take it apart or whatever i don't know whatever you want to do so it's like the tool kit here let me see what's underneath here so you got some wrenches and screwdriver okay all right so that's cool. Some any tools to take the bike apart, put it together. Okay, so let's put that over there. So another box of stuff is called accessories, accessories, and it looks like a bike pump or something. So here's the uh, charger for the battery. Let's see what this is. So that's the charger right there. US 54.6 volt 3A. I don't know if that's good or not. You know, I don't I don't know. I haven't done a lot of research. So you guys have to tell me in the comments if that's a good charger because I'm not a I'm not a bike guy. You know, I, I don't know. I haven't had enough of these bikes. Maybe, you know, I'm doing this review, maybe because there's no reviews on YouTube 
about this mock wheel uh, obsidian bike. So my my review is gonna be the first. So um, until other people get this thing and then they'll probably review it better than I did. But you know I'm I'm new to the whole bike game, so uh, so that's just a plug to it. So that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Okay. All right. What else is in here? So that's the plug. And then some screws. What is this? Uh, protector rubber cap for the hubs. Stopwatch handle bracket. What is that? A stopwatch handle bracket. I don't know what that's for. And then this one is a uh, brake lining. Uh, this one is uh, socket head screws. There's a bunch of screws and stuff. Yeah. And then look like a, the cheapest bike pump. Are you serious? Come on, dude. Really? This the bike pump they give me? Is this even a real bike pump? Look at this thing. I mean, this thing is so... It's plastic. Oh, my God. Y'all would never use this. This thing's probably going in the trash. I mean, this ain't even... This ain't going to pump up nothing. So, yeah, that probably goes in the trash. Hold on. Look at this handle. Come on. Really, you guys? I mean, twenty-seven hundred dollar bike. This you give me that cheap of a pump. That's crazy. They could have gave me a really nice pump, but I guess not. So that means everything in here gonna be cheap. So what is this? Mock wheel look like a bike cover probably. Let's see what is this thing here? Bike cover. Yep. So you get a bike cover. All right. That's fine. I don't know why I would need that. Wouldn't need that. Helmet, I bet this helmet is so cheap. Oh my god, it's super light. Jeez, it's really light. I mean, like light, light. I don't think this helmet is gonna do much of anything. Oh my god, it's so light. If I can't even get this thing open, hold on, let me see. So it's a Mockwell helmet, it's super light. I mean, I don't know if these helmets are supposed to be super light or not. But yeah, super light helmet. Okay. So, here's the helmet. Let me put it here. There's the helmet. That's just, uh, I guess it'll do. I'm going to wear it. I don't have a helmet, bike helmet. So, until I buy something new and better, I definitely rock this. Probably buy something new and better later, but for now, I wear this one. Super light and cheap, you know. I don't know how good this. First time I fall, hit my head is gonna crack this thing, and this thing is gonna be broke. So, there's the helmet. What else you get? What else do you get in here? Uh, what is this? This is a water bottle holder. So it's a standard water bottle holder. It's probably super cheap as well. You guys want to see it? I guess you probably want to see it. Let's get this thing out. I'm sorry I'm holding this with my hands. So I should have had this on the tripod or something. But So that's the water bottle holder. Plastic little water bottle holder thing. So I don't even know. Let's go somewhere on the bike. Yeah. Water bottle holder. What else we got here? This is, uh, oh, they give you a lock. Well, that's kind of cool. A folding lock. This one of those little fancy locks that you see on uh, YouTube. Yeah, I'll, I'll look into that later. But this is a folding lock. Look like one of those locks that, uh, not a chain, but it has a metal thing. If you're a biker, you've seen these locks before. So, I don't know if it's good or not. That's kind of nice. They give you a lot. Looks like they give you some kind of mirrors. Or a mirror. So you get a mirror. Sound like it's broke. Hold on, let me see. I'm gonna take it from this end. Does that end sound like it's broke. Do you really need mirrors on a bike? That's the question. Do you need mirrors on a bike? Hit me up in the comments and let me know if you need mirrors on a bike. You know, I don't know. Why do you need mirrors on a bike? Somebody tell me that. This thing sounds like it's broke. 
a lot of jingling going on. So you get two. Huh. There's a mirror, so you get these little mirrors, so I guess. So that's mirrors. What else we get in the box? Ugh. Phone holder. Now this is probably about the best thing they got going. 360 phone holder. Is it metal? Let's see. I do want to see what this is about because I do need a phone holder. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another video to this thing and I'm going to ride it and come back with a later video show you guys how to ride uh, so this is the uh, bike holder. Let me see here. Let's see here if I can get this thing out of the plastic. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. So yeah, that's the bike. It's metal. Yeah, this is nice. So this is the metal thing you get here. So it scratches out right there and put your phone in there. Yeah, this is nice. They're definitely putting this on the bike. Probably do that today. Put that on there. What else we got? And a basket? What the heck is this? So I get a basket too. I don't know why they give me a basket. I'm not caring. So this is something. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. And then I get like a basket. So this is a basket of some sort. I put on the back of this thing. Hold on. Let's look at it. Let me, let me pause it and get it out of the plastic here. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So this is the basket you get. It's pretty heavy. I mean, this thing is heavy. So, I mean, this is going to add to some pounds on your bike. So, if you want that, I'm probably not going to be using that. I don't think I need no basket. I'm making this thing look like, you know, Mary Poppins. You know, we're not we're not riding baskets. We probably won't use the trailer neither, but cuz I'm not going to be carrying. I'm going to have a backpack. Anything I can need, I can throw it in my backpack. I'm not going to the grocery store and I'm not hauling nothing. So, um, yeah, I don't need all this stuff. Oh, this go on the front, probably. I think this goes on the front, not the back. Because I've seen something on the front where this can attach to. Like right on the front, like in the front of the bike. Like a little basket in the front. But, yeah, we're not, we're not doing all that. So, but, yeah, that's cool, I guess. You know, if you need that kind of stuff, you, you know, you need to go shopping and put a little... Little bags of groceries in there. You know, you want to put one bag in there. So, but I like the wood. Nice wood. This is heavy. Like I said, this thing is heavy. So, but this is what you get. So, if you're interested in Mach Wheel, go ahead and check it out. The Obsidian, that's their most powerful bike. So, there you go. I don't want that to rip my couch. But yeah, there you go. So, that's it. That's all the goodies you get. So, the only thing they owe me is a trailer. So when they get the trailer, I'll have that trailer, and I can use that for, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to need a bike with a trailer for, but I'm sure for something, I don't know. But there you go. So this is all the goodies you get. So Mark will, if you like it, get it. So I'll come back with a part two of this video, and I'll give it a ride, and I'll have my uh, phone or I use a GoPro or something. I'm not sure what I'll use my GoPro or my phone. And I'll go out and ride around and show you guys the speed and how it rides and stuff. But it's like I said, it rides very well. So I'm I'm happy with it. Um, my first e-bike. This is my first electric bike. So um, it ride. It feels like a regular motor, uh, mountain bike to me um, with just, you know, big tires on it. And it's really comfortable. And then I don't have to pedal. Like once I get tired of pedaling, kick in that um, throttle and there you go. Because sometimes I ride really far and then I get halfway on the way home and I'm like super tired. My butt's like killing me. So I'm like ready to just get off the bike and walk it. So now I won't have that problem no more. I can just kind of, once I get tired, I hit that throttle and zoom on home. Maybe stand up on it if my butt's hurting or whatever. It shouldn't be because I got a better seat now. So um but yeah, this is a long video, so uh hope you guys like it. I mean, just kind of going my overview of the bike. Um, so if you guys decide you want to buy this thing, go for it. And if you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. Find something else. But I think I like it. So and it's local in my city where I can if something go wrong. They give you all oh, they give you a two year warranty on a bike too. So if anything go wrong within two years, I, I'm covered. So all right, peace.